Hello everyone, this is Boba the Vulture, and this is Let's Play Gran Turismo 2. Um, yeah, forget about it. It's, 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 we've got a bunch of nice cars for this kind of an event. We should go in and see what kinds of, uh, kinds of, uh, good... I mean, the Starlet 3 Dirt Turbo S would be great for this sort of a thing. Actually, that's perfect. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Starlet three-door turbo. Time for you to ride again. Let's take you out to the races, boy. Let's go to the Japan Nationals and triumph over Midfield Raceway. Hardcore. that my microphone is hitting something, because, eh, I think we're all right. So, midfield raceway, maybe not necessarily a track of my expertise, but we've got a powerful starlet here powerful starlet that will lead us to victory. Yes, it will. Lead us past all those marches. Sure is shooting. Oh no, it just occurred to me. I never got a racing... Or if I did ever get a racing transmission for this car, I never... tuned to the gearing. Disaster. Tears flood Death Valley. Well, that certainly wasn't the goal. Well, I got some catching up to do now, don't I? Which I may not be able to do, considering uh, this has a limited top speed. But maybe I can, because it's still better than the top speed these guys will make. Holy crap, I think I got it. Oh, I don't got it, I don't got it, I don't got it. Thank you, I needed that. I really do rarely, if ever, have to uh, brake in this car. That's probably part of what uh, screwed me up down here. And I think now I've got this. But I don't do something real dumb like uh, drive off the track. That little starlet's gonna do it again. Be proud you're a starlet, cause the car's gonna do it again. Yes, it is. Yes! Suck it, modern cars. Well, modern to the time this game came out, cars. 
I got the big one. The big star. That's Subaru Vivo. I didn't even know that was a thing. I'm gonna have to look at it now. Honda logo. Alright. Let's get out of here. I think we proved our point. Finished him. Let's see what kind of... Can we get some money out of this? No prize car. What? No prize? Well, fine. Fine. What else is going to be uh, here, then? Alright, 295 horsepower at midfield raceway. What do we have just under 300 horsepower? I believe we have a nice prelude that fits that bill. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Who's your good little prelude? Fitting that bill perfectly. Oh, yeah, yes. Going back to our roots here, folks. Getting the first couple of cars back out. Boy, taking on these uh, national races will be a treat in that respect. Yes. I love it. Okay. Some uh, potentially tough customers here. Oh, have I driven this car since the Enduro? And if not, does it still have the hard endurance racing tires on it? And if so, is it that much more embarrassing to you guys that I'm still managing to compete rather well? There we go. Really, I haven't figured out a way to make that part of the track anything other than almost a total standstill. But maybe that is what they're going for. Don't know. Just don't know. Well, you've officially gone past the two points on this track where if you were going to catch me, you would have caught me. Unless I screw up down here, which of course is very likely, so, uh, you know, don't uh, get too discouraged yet, gentlemen. Hey, Sylvia, suck it. Damn it!
Well, that's embarrassing, isn't it? I'm gonna have to do that all over. I'm gonna have to start all over, man. Both of those laps I'll have to do again. No prize. Because I wasn't gonna win one for second place. Yeah, every time it says replay there, you think to yourself, oh, I can just start the race challenge over again. But no, it just takes you back to the, like, oh, watch a movie of how you just drove around. Admittedly, the movie of you driving around can be fun. But, uh, yeah. That was most unfortunate. Yeah, let's... Let's see how much of a difference this makes, folks. I feel like I've been, uh, preaching the gospel of, uh, great tires for a while. Um, let's see how things change up here now. We def we have a... Well, the qualifying order is different. I don't know whether we still have another Sylvia Aero spec or whatever. We certainly have a number of, uh, rough customers. Way too early there. I guess I was going by uh, the breaking point I would have needed with uh, the other tires. But still, we are uh, leading this thing. get me wrong, uh, hard racing compound tires aren't necessarily bad. Um, racing uh, tires on a racing track, regardless of their compound, will still probably be better than a street tire. Um, especially if the track is dry. If it's been raining, uh, maybe your street tire would be better than a uh, racing slick. Um, just because there's some ability to channel water there. I like those old civics, or those the civics. I like those old preludes. Sort of, uh, odd little triangled head taillights on them, too. Well, I say odd little, but of course, now it's something that is just part of their, uh, their charm of their era. Alright, we still got no new prize cars, but, uh, Maybe upon completion of the Japan tournament, we will get a prize car. And if not, we're just checking off things on uh, our little completion list. And, uh, what is the next horsepower threshold? 345. Okay, okay, okay. What do we have that's around there? It's probably too much. And I 
was actually never that impressed with that particular car. 270R. Probably too much. Hmm, no. This will probably be not quite enough either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're looking for something just under the 400 Ford power threshold right now, right? Was that what I remember? Toms, what did you do with this T111? Not enough, I see. Mugen Prelude Type S. Does it have an exciting sound? You can add it its parts. It's set apart from the subdued looking standard model. <sighs> you folks could have just read it. If you didn't end up reading it in that time, well, my apologies, but uh, I just couldn't sit there and continue to look at it. This looks like a good car for this job. And if it doesn't quite work, then clearly I should have gotten um, soft tires. Oh, 345, not 395. Oh, egg on my face. 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 Maybe. We're going to get so few chances to, to trot this car out again. I feel like even though it's a racing spec car and it's almost cheating, I've got to do it. Start up your ride of the Valkyries, folks. I, I'm desperately hoping this thing will do some giant killing here now. Are you ready? It's going to be a tall order for this Demio to do this. But I hope against hope it has the ability. You quit pushing me out. You guys have earned every bit of the rough treatment you've gotten from this Demio. Whistler's Mazda. Keep in there. Mix it up. Can we do it? Can this admittedly race tricked out Demio? win against the best Japan has to offer. Not with brakes like these. I don't think I ever upgraded the brakes, did I?
go. I just need a better exit out of here. Well, that's not going to do it. winning it here. I'm sorry, Demio. I put too much put too 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 much uh, on your shoulders. I, I I shouldn't have I shouldn't have made you try this. It's too much for poor little Demio to what I'm sorry, Demio. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Let's continue. We can, we can, we can hang on. We can power out of this. We can make our way. Ha! Ah, it'll be all right, folks. If everything is gonna be all right, rock and pop. Okay. Mines is gonna be too much, ZZ2 is gonna be too much. What's the TO20 all about? Two thirty. That matter, what's the pulse RGTIR all about? Too much. Spoon and Tiger Type R. Probably too little. Although, by less than you'd think. I know that the AZ-1 does not have high horsepower. TRG-2000 GT? I'm just saying random numbers and letters now. What's the Celica GT-4? Oh, it's over by one horsepower. Ha 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 ha. Not the Nismo 400R. Surely that would be a good car. Oh, proceeding. Yeah, 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 yeah. we already we were already over this. Hey, say. 351. Darn it. 351. I think this thing has super low horsepower, doesn't it? It does. How are you doing, RX-7? 433 horsepower? It's a lot. We're now getting down to things that I should really... It's been so recently that I would have gotten them or messed with them. I should know whether they're the right kind of car for this event. And yet, I'm still looking. You gonna cord wagon? Yep. Oh, well, here we go. That's my new car. Now, the problem here may end up being that uh, I haven't actually done any tuning to it. But in terms of uh, its starting horsepower, it's right up next to where it needs to be. Just want to win the Japan uh, Nationals here. They're the nationals where you have the, I guess, biggest ver potential variety of uh, cars to choose from. And I just want to do a driving station wagon. Is that so much to ask? It's kind of a lot. It's kind of a big ask here.
somebody's accelerating awfully hard behind me, but, uh, I'm sorry, I'm still doing things up here. I have a right of way. go. And once again down to this corner that I just can't seem to uh, That wasn't a bad way through it. If nothing else it was a defensive line. It kept everybody else from uh, sort of uh, sneaking around the inside of me. I don't think I have the top end to necessarily hold these guys uh, way back. Although they're not gaining on me at the rate I would have expected. That's it. Jocelyn Jockey back there. That was a terrible run through that corner, but it's okay. Was it? You know, honestly, with some drippy tires and some weight reduction, this would be an awesome car. I mean, it would essentially be a uh, GTR at that point, I guess. Um, which I guess again, but, but uh, I stand by my statement: it would be an awesome car. Ha ha. I had it! 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 Ah, jeez. Yeah, I'm not getting rich doing this. Oh, man. I does it said GT League domestic? Um, I guess they were thinking that we're all Japanese. Not just turning that way. But, uh, you know what, folks? Let's just go make a million dollars here real quick. We'll sell some things. Suppose since I just made a million dollars, and I want to keep that Stigia because I think it's just a really cool car. There is no uh, no reason at this point to not uh, totally tune it up. Although, hey, I think I had somebody mention they would like to see. Well, this is the G Limited. This is not the. Uh, Oh, it is. The supercharged model. Super red. Okay. 1.6. Two red cam. Put the transverse amount to help make affordable mid-engine car. Change a supercharger.
think somebody specifically mentioned, oh, you should try the MR2, and I've always been a fan of the MR2. Um, the first generation one was uh, a car that I had a matchbox of that, uh, you know, I thought was really cool. Mmm, Super Twin Turbo R as well. Ooh, and it's in dark green. Ah. Oh, so tempting. I'm going to go ahead and buy that. I'll purchase it. I'm not going to get in the car right now, though. That's what happens, folks. You become a kid in a candy store. Oh, and you fill up your garage with lots and lots of, uh, Vehicles that you can't do that much with. And Two hundred forty-three horsepower. That's great. Can I get a special intercooler? Okay. What about a special muffler? Right. I'm gonna get all I'm gonna get a variety of goodies for this car. I never seem to use the brake balance controller, but I'll go ahead and get one anyway. It's only ten grand. What's the big deal? Can you increase the displacement? Probably not. No. Okay. Let's throw an engine balancing in here. Now, basically, one of the keys here is that the car should not weigh very much, so maybe the fact that we are down a decent amount of horsepower to some of these other blokes won't necessarily kill us. And yes, we're going to go ahead and uh, get all the things. I'm going to guess this MR2 will not be allowed in the MRS trophy race, but I don't care. That's not what this is about. This is about getting a fun car and uh, going crazy with it. Oh, I can't get a carbon drive shaft. Well, I'll be darned. I'll be ding darned, dang dinged. Oh, I'm not messing with the limited slip differential. I am, however, messing with super soft racing slicks. Racing super soft. That's how I like to race. I like to race super soft. Let's look at the racing modification, because I was also told the racing modification is cool looking. MR2! Oh, you know, it's a white car with uh, a couple of stickers on it. Hmm. It's clean, I'll give it that. That is a nice thing about it. Now, it may turn out that I've gotten the wrong MR2. That would be sad, folks. It would be very sad. But, uh... Let's try taking this one out to the ball game and uh, out to the crowd. And seeing what happens when we enter it in the Japan Nationals. Yes, I know it does not have the uh, horsepower of uh, some of these other vehicles, but uh, I'm hoping 
that by being light and by being agile, it'll be okay anyway. And I'm hoping I didn't need to spend a long time uh, tuning it to uh, find where the right top end for it should be in terms of gearing. I'm hoping I don't have to do that because I didn't. And if I did have to do it, that would mean this would be a bad thing. It's a peppy little number. That's right. Just glide it through these corners too. one of the things the MR2 can do, because it's mid-engine, it will pitch around on you. On the bright side, because it is mid-engine, it can pitch around on you. Alright, nobody mess with Mr. 2. They call MR2 sometimes, guys. And yeah, now I'm occasionally taking a look back in fear. I am a fearful man. For a while, this car is uh, fun and uh, interesting. Again, it'll uh, f little fishtail all over the place like that, trying to go through a corner that way. So I should have been more careful, I guess. But at last. Dream is within sight. My dream of winning the Japan Car Cup. Yeah. Suck it, new cars. This little number from the 80s. This little wedge. I hadn't gotten around to better explaining it, but yeah. I had a racing like modified, like I had a one that was painted up like a racing car. Matchbox car of uh, an MR2 from around this time. It was one of my favorite Matchbox cars. Right up there with, coincidentally, I had a Hot Wheels car of uh, the Toyo or the Pontiac Fiero, which was probably as close a direct competitor, at least in the North American market, as the uh, MR2 had. It was a mid-engine Pontiac that was made from, you know, I mean, there were various parts been bits and pieces, uh, some of them coming from the Chevelle, actually, um, if I'm remembering right. They were economy car parts bin pieces, uh, that they made a mid-engine Pontiac out of, and, um, yeah, it was, it was an interesting little thing. And you'll see the car goes crazy right there. Alright, so... There you are, folks. There you have it. Uh, let's uh, let's let's exit out of here. Let's uh, get the the winning uh, all lined up here. No new car acquired, huh? 
fine. I'm gonna save the game anyways. See what I care. It's because you think I don't deserve a car just because I won the Japan Championship. I'm the best in Japan. And uh, you're still not going to, uh, still not going to respect my authority. I see how it is. Well, that's okay. We'll figure this out anyways. There's not going to be an elaborate cutscene right now, like, oh, the people in the world are starting to take notice of Bobo the Vulture. But uh, anyhow, folks, this is Bobo the Vulture. Uh, this is Let's Play Gran Turismo 2. And uh, next time, uh, um, well. I did get that. Uh, I did get that Supra. Maybe I should see what all fun I can do with it and uh, take it out and uh, have a little bit of uh, time. Um, bye now, folks.